Hi everyone, it's Terry. Today I have a treat for you. As an owner of a Luminaire, you know you have My Design Center and you know you can create some of your own quilting designs in My Design Center. So let me show you how to do that. I've hooped up some fabric. This is just my 5x7 hoop. And what I'm going to do is I'll go into My Design Center and I want to select the scan icon, but in this case, we'll do an image scan. We'll select scan and our job is to keep this fabric straight as it's scanning. So we don't want it bunched up under the scanner. All right, let's look at the screen. Now, one of the things you'll find if you are, are tracing from an image, you want to darken it. And I'm going to leave it at this level so that you can see what I'm doing. But you may want to, to darken it to a, a darker contrast. We'll lighten it up just enough that I can see it. And today what we're going to do, we could use the mouse. You can use your finger, although it won't look good. But believe it or not, I'm going to use the stylus. Now, people who watch my videos know I'm not a big fan of the stylus. But I have to tell you that it works pretty well in this application. We're zooming up to 1600%, but let me go to 400% and show you the flower that we're going to trace. And this is what we're going to trace. Now, if you're a person that's done any long arm quilting, you know one of the things that they tell you to do is to pause when you get to sharp points and then start your curve, come down to the sharp point, pause, take a breath, start again. And that's true also when you're doing this and you're trying to trace around it. Don't worry about perfection because we're not going to use this to stitch over that very same design. We would be using this to quilt fabric. So you could choose a couple of the floral motifs and you could create your designs for quilting. And it doesn't even have to be with this fabric. It could be with something else. I want to go to 1600% and take the hand. And I found that for me, it's easier to trace at this level. Actually, I want to go to 800 so you can see it. It's easier when you're at a higher level to see what's going on and to get the good lines. Now I need to choose the tracing tool, which is the open pencil. I'm going to use my stylus that came with my machine, and I need to choose a point to start. It's easier to start right here where we have that point. You heard it connect. And what I'm doing is kind of tracing around the inside of that line and coming back around on the outside. Don't worry if it's perfect or not, because honestly, nobody else is really going to know. I'm going to stop right there. Now I'll take the hand and I'll pan the screen so that I have more area to start. I need to reconnect. And if it's not a perfect connection, don't worry about it. But you notice I have the hand selected. I have to deselect it and come back around and stop. Pause. And I actually went too far down. So I'll take that eraser and I have a small eraser and I'm just going to erase till I get up to the point where I need to reconnect. We're going to pick up the drawing tool, reconnect. And you can see that this is a good place to pause. Pause. Do the screen. You notice that this design didn't, I didn't capture all of it. That's not an issue. I, I think I can make up the difference. So choose my drawing tool, come back around, pause, stop there. I'm going to erase some of that and pause. There we go. 
So we now have that all together. This is a good time to go around your design and look to see if you want to clean up something. Now, you might tell yourself that you really can't stand this little portion right here and you want to clean that up. And one thing I would suggest that you do is you stitch something out. But if you're like me and you really want it to look nicer, you can take it and erase this little bit and then go up to 1600% because it makes it easier and take the pencil and now reconnect and follow that line. You see how nice that looks? Now let's take the hand and we'll leave it at that 1600% because I need to erase a pixel here. There we go. We'll go around this design and we may find some places that we want to clean up some of the shape. And this would be a case like if you were working with that long arm machine, you would have already created those stitches. So what you get is what you get. And you have to decide whether you're going to pick out stitches. Your advantage here is that you are working with artwork right now. So you can make this look nice before you put it on fabric. All right, and not a big fan of that curve. And this is one reason when I was saying that it's at 1600%, it is actually easier to trace, or at least it is for me. All right, and let's take the eraser and get rid of some of those pixels. Pencil to reconnect that looks good and it's easier for me and let me undo that to erase a portion to catch this in at that point so what I'm going to do is to reconnect here and there we go now what I'll do is I'll erase a couple of pixels and we'll see what, what it looks like when it shows us what the stitch out will look like. So the rest of this is looking pretty good. So let's go back to 100% and let me lighten the background and you can see what this looks like. In fact, let me go to 200 so you can see it. We followed that image fairly well, it can, uh, all things considered. Now, one of the things that you might want to do is you may want to put something in the center. And that's when I think that it would be nice to be able to take some of the built-in shapes and to do that. So let's move this on the screen so we can see it. Let's go to our shapes. And we're going to go into the open shapes. And we're, I think what would look nice is this little flower here. We'll choose OK. And now we need to resize this. So we're going to go to size and reduce it proportionally because it has to fit up inside that flower. And I need to use my hands or the mouse for this so you can actually see. I'm so, I apologize about that. All right, now let's move it over that section and let's decide if we want it to be that large. And actually, I think I like that. So I'm going to leave it like that. I'll choose OK. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go to Next. And you're going to get an idea of what this would stitch out like. So what we'll do is we're going to lighten that image. And here's what our design would look like. Now, the only thing about this is it may not be centered as nicely as you might want, but I think all, all together it looks okay. What we're going to do is we're going to link everything together, and we're going to leave it at 2.0, and we'll choose set and okay. Now, what I should have done is save that design. Because if I wanted to go back and edit this, I just lost it.
So I should have saved it to memory. Now I've done it a couple of times, so I'm not too worried about that. I do want you to see what this would look like when it stitches out. And what we'll do is we'll hook up some fabric and we'll stitch it out. So give me a moment to get some fabric hooked up in my machine. Okay, we're to the point we're ready for embroidery. And this design is fairly small. So what we're going to do, first of all, we're going to go into our settings. And we're going to set this to inches so I can see roughly what size it is. So you can see it's relatively small. What I'm going to do is resize it. I'll go to edit and to size. And I want to make this about three and a half inches. So I want to recalculate those, those stitches and I'll make it about three and a half inches in size by expanding the size of the overall design. So that's slightly more than that. Let's reduce it a little bit and that's close enough. Now, what we'll do, we have a five by seven hoop. So let's go ahead and let, let's look at the five by seven hoop on the screen so that we can see what it looks like in the background. And we'll take one of those here and we're going to duplicate it. We'll put another one over here and we're going to resize that one now once you moved it it's going to move it back in the center to to resize it because we want to recalculate stitches and we'll just place that one there and we'll rotate it a little bit so let's choose okay We'll go to rotate and let's rotate it about 25 degrees. And that way that we have some differences. Might rotate it a little bit more. That's good. And choose OK. So let's stitch this out and see what it looks like. You can see our project is complete. And what I did, the original design was about this size. I resized it. And when I resized it, I resized it using the recalculate stitch mode so that it kept the stitches in the count as it was originally digitized. If you want a lighter look, you can choose the other option. And what I would do is test it out and see what you think. You can see that this would look very nice on, on a quilt, and it would also be a, a, a fairly nice way to decorate some plain fabric. I'm Terry Maffitt. I hope this video has been helpful to you. Please join me in my Facebook group, Just Stitching with the Brother Luminaire. If you like my videos, as always, please subscribe and leave me a comment and let me know if you like the video. Thanks and have a great day.